Hello everyone, and welcome back to Storm King's Thunder, episode 29. Welcome! <laughs> hello, hello. 29 already? Yep. Who would like to give us a recap of last time? Well, there was the bar fight. Which, surprisingly, went a lot better than I was expecting it to. I wasn't fighting nobody or getting arrested. Yeah, everyone, ah. just, everyone just kind of left. <laughs> and Rizwin talked uh, to the Thief Guild people? Yes, she mm -hmm. found a member of the Hand of uh, Yartar. Yeah, and... The that was the person that informed uh, her that uh, this guard had the sword, right? Yes. And okay. I recently learned that the hand of Yarder is only made up of women. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, me and Reed took a census uh, through <laughs> a large portion of the town. And we found nothing other than a list of creatures. <laughs> and... I Luckily, they, they won't recognize us, though, because we were in disguise. <laughs> but this town uh, may be full of people expecting to possibly win a lottery now, so that's this town's problem. Anywho, uh... A lot of last session was mostly planning to see how we would get the guard, and then we kind of ran into him in the street. <laughs> but... But, you know, can't, can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Uh, and now we're fighting him after he was being incredibly racist towards tieflings and rude towards citizens. I mean, old lady. Yeah. I'm in danger! Oh god, someone save that woman. Anywho. <clears throat> what I'm hearing uh, is Badger's causing a lot of problems. I did nothing this time. For once, it's not my fault. She does pull ones. Yes, you guys managed to, well, avoid the fight, uh, that you started. Uh, a little unfortunate, but I will. <laughs> yeah, Reed and, uh, Bochara went and did some silly things. We tried to yeah. find, to tr find the needle in a haystack, pretty much, to find, <laughs> to find Carl. Rizwin had much better luck. It took her a little while to find a uh, the hand of Yartar, but she did. She used the favor, and so he didn't have to pay five hundred gold. Got the information. Found out this gentleman here. Brenner, Thozar Brenner. Had uh, the corrupt guard that had taken it. And uh, Reed had actually, uh, the previous day, tried talking to Carl when he was in prison. Carl didn't understand sending. <laughs> and kept going over the word limit. Speaking of uh, Reed, he's here. Yes, hello, Reed. Hey, sorry for being late. All good. It's okay, the fight hasn't started yet. <laughs> but yes, the, um... The Thieves Guild told you roughly where... Uh... This corrupt guard, uh, liked to pray, or prowl, during the day. And they promised to waive the... Uh, whatever fee might have been, if, uh... You take care of them f for them. And when you did find him, uh, two of his uh, henchmen were robbing a poor citizen. And noticing, knocked them down. Yep, noticing you all, especially the uh, the tiefling, with some uh, racial slurs against tieflings, and Badger attempted to go help the lady, but two guards interposed themselves. And that's where we are starting. Oh, and also, yeah, oh, he called Ruby a pet. pet. And 
And with that, let's see what they do. I'm gonna do a murder. Yeah. Although technically the dictionary lists a murder as a human killing another human, that's not what's happening here. Humanoid. All right, let's see. I move here. These two will move up. And the others get crossbows. All right, two spear attacks at Badger. It's a 16 to hit and a 20 to hit. 16 misses, 20 will definitely hit. You take two piercing damage. Because <laughs> he rolled minimum damage. Okay, two at uh, Leon. Neither hit. One at Pochara. Fifteen. Misses. Nope. Oops, sorry, cut you off there. That's good. Let's see, an eighteen to hit Rizwin. Yep. A nineteen a nineteen to hit Reed. And a 12 to hit Ezra, so those miss. Alright, Rizwin, you take 4 piercing damage. And Reed. I'm gonna shield it. Okay, and it bounces off the shield. Alright, that was them. Badger. I want to use one of my new abilities if I may. What's that? Once I scroll down to it, I'll let you know. So you I'm need to not use her as a as a mount. You can hop off and do this. Okay, I hop off. Okay. All right. I'd like the short sword, the guy in front of me, please. Go ahead. Or attempt to at least. Attempt is the right word. That hits. Oh, wow. You deal this dude a massive blow. And then may I have Ruby bite them too? The yep. Same. Yep, absolutely. That just misses. No, it's okay. Ruby gets a mouthful gets of shield. Does she get advantage because being called a pet sends her into a raid? No. Add a try. Okay, that's it. Pulchara, it's your turn. Well, I, I think we all know who I'm mostly f focusing in on here. Uh, I'll leave the, the rest to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably help with them if I can. But either way, I'm going to uh, Hexblade's Curse this guy. Alright. And time for a good old-fashioned grain fine blade. And... That hits. Oops. Got to take off a finish. Okay. There. And uh, 1d8 plus 4 to hit this guy, too. Okay. Uh, so, 7. Alright. That will be my turn. Oh, uh, it's also an additional uh, 3 damage for this guy because he's... Ah, that's curse. right. Thank you. 
No problem. I have a lot of numbers being a multi-classer, so. <laughs> Read. Two. Can mm. we measure it real quick? Uh, yeah. Be aware that there are... Oh, you're right. I'm... There are, like, carts and stuff. People's things in the area, so... Okay. Hmm... And people, don't forget about the people. They're just possessions. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So, is it possible to get these three? Uh, in what? Sleep. It's twenty feet. Yes, I'm, and I'm it, not it, it will not. Char. It will not get full char is fine. It will not get any civilians either. So, yes, you, if you want, to go ahead and roll your sleep. Where are you going to center it? Huh? Where do you want to center it? If you want to get just those guards. It'd be hard to get just those guards and not... Um... Yeah, it'll be right here. It'll be just those three, so... Okay. Then I will cast it. Right there? All right. Why is it two times three? That's straight. Oh, wait, no, it's 2d8 for each every extra level, isn't it? Yep. We centered it here? Yep, it's a total of uh, 60, 62 hit points. Four more, and you would have put the cat in the sleep. <laughs> All right, those three immediately drop unconscious. <laughs> and Holy I'm gonna move shit. back because I don't want to get hit. <laughs> That's my turn. Okay. Ezra. <laughs> I will. Let's see here. I think I'm going to help Machara put the main guy down. Is that acceptable? Yeah. Oh, you mean him? Asking him? I mean, is like, is, is there anything in the way? Oh Between, no, there's like, nothing. No, there's nothing in the way. I will hex him. Okay. And then I will smack him, or attempt to smack him. All right. Do you have Thirsting Blade? Yeah. Okay. That one misses. Yeah, I kind of figured. Oh, so that's also your Hexblade's Curse. Do you want to Hex him or Hexblade's Curse him? Uh, I am... Yeah, let's Hexblade's Curse him. Okay. I think that's what I meant to say. Okay, you must make it sure. And you do the Hexblade's Curse one. <laughs> 17. Just misses. Ah, okay. That's all I can do. All right. Uh, 
Okay. He's going to rally his troops. The ones that are up feel bolstered, look bolstered. And he's going to make two swipes at Pochara. Bring it on! A nine. And a 23. Yeah, okay, then I'd like to hellish rebuke him. Okay. You take 12 slashing damage. And just in case anyone's looking at the thing and seeing it, why is that incorrect? He has a plus one giant slayer weapon, so that's why. Okay, go ahead and hellish rebuke. At 13. Higher. His deck is pretty uh, crap, so. Uh, wait, does my... Hold on, I'm reading up on something. I think it's for uh, attack you... rolls. Bonus to damage rolls against the, uh, the cursed target. Yep, it doesn't say attack roll. Okay, then uh, that's uh, 16. Uh, yep. All right, uh, yeah, he fails miserably with a four. That's him. I'm glad I hurt him more than he hurt me. <laughs> yeah, he did not do too well. Brisbane. Alrighty, um... Um, since I was not here last time, can I say that she activated her dagger of venom when she knew a fight was going to start? Sure. Yay. I'll allow she's, it. She's going to stab the guy to the right of Leon with it. You're going to completely murder him. <laughs> Is he hurt already? No. Oh. I mean... Ah. That doesn't hit, however. Um, I'm gonna use my bonus action to try and stab him again. Okay, with a different weapon, I assume? Yeah, her regular dagger. Okay. That one hits. Of course that one hits, because it's a mundane thing. Yeah. Sneak attack alone oh. was enough to drop him. Sneak attack. I forgot about that. I was like, what is that 12 from? Yep. Yay. That's the end. Uh. Uh. She'll move around to this side. All right, Leon. I'm considering. Uh, I'm going to risk taking a hit from this guy then. Okay. Uh. And so I'm going to dash over to this guy over here. All right. So, what's the roll? As you run by, Rizwin is like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just looking at the guy. Uh, he misses terribly with a 10. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit this man here for Badger. Okay. Part of Ruby, you mean? Uh, I'm not going to hit that. No, unfortunately not. Is the lady standing up yet, or is she still on the ground? She hasn't stood up yet. We just have that. Yeah, that's in my turn. I can't do anything. Okay. She'll stand up now. Just move it back a little bit. Alright, the... Is 
Is she the only civilian that moves? A couple more actually come in and start watching. Mob mentality, huh? Yeah. Also, this one is fucking running. Disengaging and running the fuck away. It's like when there's a car What's... accident and everybody like comes to look at it. What's his movement speed? He only moved 30. Good to know. He disengaged. You... He's just not fucking surviving this. No, no, no. I know he's not going to survive it. I'm just seeing how far of a head start he has from... Okay. Uh, the other one is going to hit Ruby. He's dropping his shield to spear her. And misses! That's a 10 to hit and he fucking misses. His AC is lower now. Aha! Okay, those three are asleep. Okay, one at Polchara. Miss, and one at Rizwin. 15, which I think misses. Yeah, they all fucking miss. Badger! Action, can I please try to hit the guy in front of me? Yep. Oh, that hits. Alright, looking pretty hurt. Then, can I please... I know this can probably risk a... Uh, opportunity tap, but can I have her chase him down and try to pounce Absolutely. Do her pounce. Pounce! Not that one, though. That, yeah. That's... Yeah. Uh, do not <laughs> so pounce the civilian. Not the civilian. If the work, it has to be a claw attack. If the claw attack lands, he is pounced, and she can do a bonus action of a... If she hits, it's not going to matter. He has one health left. <laughs> also, uh, Ruby takes eight piercing damage. As she runs out of this guard's uh, range. This guy still has a shield. He just blocks it. If that if he didn't have a shield, he would have gotten hit, but he did not get hit. And now he has to do a DC 12 strength save and throw. Or be pro Is that on hit, or... It has to hit. So he says move forward. Yes, hits, and then hits. hits. Uh, and then hits with claw attack same turn. Okay, so the only so it hits with it. Alright, and I'll make sure I mark for yeah. Alright. And Pulchara. I'm going to sheaf uh, my great sword. And I'm just gonna try to punch this guy in the face to try and knock him out. He's not that hurt. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Uh, does a punch attack count as a light attack? It's a melee weapon. Or it's a... Yeah, the... I, I'm asking would I be able to do a, a, a second punch with um, with my bonus attack, like the, the light property. Like I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you this. That will not drop him. You can do a total of three damage if you attack twice and hit both times. Including my Hexblade's Curse, curse which affects any damage. Okay, so it would be nine total damage, which is not enough. Ah, uh, fair enough. Uh, I don't want to kill him, so I'm just going to use my dagger. Or and just get you, some you, can call, you can call non-lethal with oh. melee. Oh, okay. Uh, green Flame Blade. With, uh, that's a spell, though. Uh, f fair, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, just great sword, then. Okay. Non-lethal non as I slam the broad side of the sword down on him. 
god almighty holy shit what the heck <laughs> dong uh ruby took eight damage uh plus three also yeah he's knocked out so I believe if they drop to zero hit points, you get your health back. Uh, yep. Yeah, you uh, get uh, what, what, however much uh, health. Ezra. Warlock level plus charisma uh, oh, modifier. Bulls, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah eight, so uh, I'll take it. I'm going to raise my great sword in the air and yell, Who else wants some? And I'll end my turn there. All right, Reed. Okay. I think I'm just gonna firebolt this guy. Alright. Fifteen. That does not hit. Okay. Just then misses. I will continue to move around. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right there. All right, Ezra. Well, I guess I'm just gonna attempt to smack the guy in front of me, I guess. Okie dokie. That one hits. Trying to kill or knock out? Knock out. That's just enough. <laughs> so you have a, you can go attack again if you want. <laughs> oh. If you if you want that other one to go for another one. Yeah, we'll do the one that's in front of Wisman. Okay. Just move your token there. He's still up, but you smack him hard. We're. I think it's hilarious that we're knocking them unconscious because this was Ezra's first chance ever to get to use his specter. <laughs> <laughs> As a character, he doesn't want to just kill people. I, I know, I just think it's hilarious that this was the first opportunity ever and we just skipped it. <laughs> uh, Rizwin. Alright. Uh... I'll move right here so I get the plus two against the guy that's between me and Ezra. And I am going to stab him. All right. I mean, to be fair, Rizman's already spilled blood, so... If Badger wants Ruby to tear into this guy... Okay, he has one health. How much damage are you doing to this guy? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> How can he eviscerate this guy? That that's more the poison enough is a kill enough that poison alone is enough to kill one of these guys at full health. <laughs> yeah, he eviscerated. He stick the dagger in his breastbone and drag it down. So that he's just flayed open as he falls to the ground. Okay. Leon. Uh, I'm gonna go try go ahead and try to kill them both. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and double cast for uh Ray of Sickness. Ooh. Okay. Is that a con save? Or is that a save or attack roll? Uh, let's have a check it. Yeah. It's an attack roll. Okay. The one in melee has a disadvantage to hit. Uh, it does not. I still have the... Tempest. Oh, so you're like flying up a little bit and then doing it? Like ten, yeah, ten feet up in the air. Okay. 
I'll I allow it. Use the bonus action on my turn, so. All right, uh, go ahead and do your ray of sicknesses. Okay, that hits. That one misses. Which one's the first one going for? Uh, I guess the guy right in front of me. Okay. Alright. He had three health. Yeah, and that's my bonus action, so I can't chase him down. Well, actually, I can move still. He can move still. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he is. He can surrender if he wants to. I wouldn't recommend that. Uh. He's fucking running. I hit him. Yep, make Ruby and Leon make your uh, attacks of opportunity. Can I make it non lethal? If you want. Although Ruby might not. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Ruby. Ruby misses, you hit. He has one health. <laughs> there you go. He can be dead, fuck it. You wanna kill him? Okay. These guys are corrupt. Can I have Ruby drag the guy back to me? Yeah, sure. Alright, combat is effectively ended. What about the other three? <laughs> They're I unconscious. I the other three up together, kind of like a triangle style. They'll be unconscious for like another... 48 seconds. seconds? I want to tie them together like a totem pole thing. Yeah, you guys have like 48 seconds, which is enough actions to do that, so... I want to stab one. Okay. Who has the late first? Jesus. I would just say you eviscerate one of them. Who had the lady's purse? I know one of them did. I think one of the uh, ones the one that Ruby drug back. I get the lady's purse and I go to hand it back to her. I liberate this man from his of his giant slaying great sword. All right. And I'm going to carry the man. Let me get this for you, Sir Leon. I'm just gonna say. Rizwan wants to kill all the Minky guards. No, I'm fine with that. I'm not, but like the, the but let's not host an execution in front of uh, all the townsfolks. I mean, I don't think they, they care. Came, they came to watch. Oh, no, they came to watch. Not, like a, the... not an execution. They came to see blood. Okay. I give the lady back her purse and make sure that all the coins were in there, not on the... Please don't hold your dagger to his neck, holding up his head, and yell to the crowd, WHO WANTS TO SEE HIM DIE?! <laughs> oh, Rizwan's not doing that. She's just gonna stab him. Oh, God. Uh, let me uh, see if I'm this works. Uh, I'm going to put my manacles on uh, this guy here. Here, I'm just going to, like very securely hold him on my shoulder, like, making sure Rizm doesn't get near him. Oh, she doesn't want to kill him. Uh, I, I had to I'm refresh gonna... one second. Just I'm going to whisper to... And I'm going to whisper to Ezra, it's like, hey, if you want to carry that guy, I think that's the only way to save him from Rizwan by turning him in. But if you don't care, then I don't care. As much as anyway. I don't like corruption, I'd rather... The only issue is, he's, he's technically part of the system. Well, yeah, but, you know, we're, we're turning them into, uh, Reed's group. Uh, I always forget their names. Harpers. Yeah, we're turning them into the Harpers. Oh, well, well that guy. Okay. Also, shouldn't really say that he's a part of the Harpers in public. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, uh, Badger, the the woman uh, bows her head and thanks you profusely. 
I smile, forgetting that I probably have blood on my face and weapons from that, and I go dry my- <laughs> I'd like to search uh, the main guy for any additional valuables. The only thing of value he's carrying is his, uh... Well, I guess it's now your Giant Slayer Greatsword. Well, Leon has already taken it. Yeah. I'm fine with that. I, I already got a pretty nifty one. Yeah, go ahead and add that to your inventory, Leon. Is the plus, I'm on it. Yeah, plus one to attack and uh, damage rolls. And when you hit a giant, it takes extra 2d6 damage. And it must succeed in a DC 15 strength saving throw or be fall, uh, or fall prone. Just imagine, like, making a fire giant prone. It, they're like they're pretty strong, so they're likely to succeed. However, it can fell them. It it is just like an extra roll on top of what you have, would, would have already been doing. So I say it's good. <laughs> well, it's absolutely good. Yep. Okay. Uh. So is, is everyone fine with us just kind of leaving immediately before these two, before this guy wakes up? Do we have that to bring the leader now. back alive? Wait, what? Do we have to bring the leader guy back alive? Well, we're, we're turning him in. Like, uh. He's a despicable being. He called you the devil and he called Ruby a pet. Yeah, but I call me the devil. That's different. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'm not gonna pretend- I'm not, like, his best friend right now. I'm just saying, like, you know... Yeah. I don't- I don't know, I just feel like it's the right thing to do to turn him in. Like, we- we probably shouldn't be killing humans when we don't have to. Like, if it's a matter of life and death, I'm absolutely fine with it. But th these are people we could have spared. But, like the two brothers. Badger will not do what she was about to do. I like how Pulchara is saying that and Rizwin's over in the corner stabbing unconscious guards. I can't stop Rizwin. I... Like, I, I, I'll, I'll tell you, Rizwin, I'm not going to stop you from those guys, but if you try to come after this guy, you, you, you will meet some resistance. I just see, like, Rizwin crouching over one of the dead bodies, just, re like, repeatedly just kind of poking it with her dagger, just annoyed. Just poke. Not All right, does anyone stop, attempt to stop Rizwin from killing this other one, the one that she's next to? I thought you already killed that one. She killed one of them. Killed one of them. The other I'm one's just, on Ruby's just... back. I don't think I can make it over uh, there in time. I'll attempt to. I'll probably just play Rizwin. Uh, I think that's I think that's enough. They're they're not a threat right now. Maybe they'll wake up and see the error of their ways. You side with a corrupt leader, like all your friends die. In in fact, I think we should just turn all of these living. Who are we gonna turn them into? They're they're guards. Uh, the... I, I think we know some people that we can turn them into. Qu I, I'm gonna lean into Reed's like, quick question, Reed. Uh, d does it cost more of that power per person? What power? For the, uh, for the you-know-what to get back. Oh, no, I don't think so. Okay, oh, then. Do you, what, oh, then what do you think we should do with them? You can take him if you want. I don't. Yeah, we're either gonna kill him or we're gonna take him. Can I quickly write down on a piece of paper the true seekers and go back to a lady with the... who I just returned the? Sure. I Sorry, want to what was give the... her the piece of paper that says the truth seekers on it. <laughs> You're leaving your calling card. I'm sorry, uh, so someone just called me on my Alexa uh, uh, for like a second. Uh, what, I missed like the last 10 seconds. I gave a lady your business card. Okay, so what? what's the verdict? Or, like, I, I'm, I'm definitely gonna take this guy with us. What, what's the verdict on the rest of them? 
I think we should uh, probably either take them all with us or at least, you know, tie them up somewhere. I don't know. I just don't think we should be just killing them. Even if they are corrupt, we should still, like... I, I want to do something about them. I'd rather us not kill them. Yeah, there's no need to senselessly kill them. We'll put it. I'll put it that way. Dot, like I, I'm with him. We, we either tie them up somewhere or we bring them with us. We we got enough bodies to do that. I mean, we could carry. We could easily carry all of them back to the. Uh, um, the place. Oh yeah. To the yeah, place. That, yeah. That. Okay. We we need four carriers. I'm still getting this guy. So yeah. You might need help with him. He's got plate armor. Why do we need four carriers? Four four people. This guy's on the back of Ruby. I assume yeah, you guys just, this... at the very least, hit them so that they're unconscious, unconscious, and not gonna wake up and. Yeah. yeah. Although we could just tie up their hands, tape their mouth, and let them walk it. Yes, because that's totally more inconspicuous. Oh, wait, no, they need... Oh, oh, wait, no. I think Reed would rather them not know about the place. Either way, let, let's yeah. go. Anyway, yeah. Let, let, we'll, we'll give them a good sock to the jaw. Oh, uh, Everyone, t take a body. Uh, th this guy's heavy. Reed, do you mind helping me with the big guy? Okay. <laughs> You're having the fucking wizard help when Leon's there in his own plate armor. <laughs> Yep. Okay. <laughs> to be fair, I'm assuming Leon's gonna get a guy by himself. Or two. I, I, I honestly, Reed, I don't expect you to be able to carry a person by yourself. No offense. Mm hmm. I can attempt to carry one by myself, but it's probably not gonna work very well. Funny thing is, Reed is only slightly weaker than Chipuchara. Very slightly. Wait, very slightly weaker than who? You. Really? Yeah. I have a 13. He has a 12. Oh. Were you stronger than me? <laughs> God. That, I was not expecting that from you, Reed. <laughs> I'm a 13 as well. Oh. Yeah. All right, I'm just going to pick up the guy. Reed is stronger than Rizwin. <laughs> I think we all just learned a lot about each other today. But here, here I was thinking that me and Leon were like, well, Leon's still the, like the strongest guy. But I was thinking like I was at least like the far up second. Ruby think... fourteen. You know, we can talk about strength later. Let's get these guys out of here. Yeah. <laughs> so is the lady okay? Yes, and she uh, thanks you. Actually, as you guys are start walking away, you actually get some cheers from the. Uh... From the crowd. From the crowd, yeah. Any flowers thrown? A couple. Uh, yes, okay, tell your friends. A person uh, that sells meat gives you uh, like five pounds of meat. Oh, that... You the group you or you Ruby? Ruby you. Yeah, all right, we're good. I should prepare steaks for all of us one day. Either way, hey, to, to, to um, the thingy. Okay. Was that Rizwan yeah, that... killing one? <laughs> Another one? Yes. Okay. Oh, go you on. mean killing the one that we're trying to take back alive? No, there were four ones she was standing in front of, yes. There were four left. I guess she just decided to, to eviscerate him, too. So there's three left. They'll wake up in two hours. I have one of Ruby's back, and I'm riding Ruby. I I'm going to shoot a, a look at Ezra, like, protect that one with your life. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, uh, Rizwin did uh, 48 damage to that one. Because it's unconscious, and that's an auto-crit. Ugh, <laughs> oh, rogues. 
Rizwin's just gonna say something about them and say, uh, he's gonna say, being corrupt isn't easily fixed. It's like when you have a moldy piece of bread. It doesn't get unmoldy. You just throw it away. Yes, but prison isn't exactly for rehabilitation. It's for making examples of those that do wrong. Well, this also makes an example of those who do wrong. Mm, I'm sure... Yes, I'm sure he's really thinking about it, moving on to his next life. <laughs> Instead of suffering for uh, the crimes he did in this one, he just gets to move on to a new one. He gets to <laughs> Very suffer kind of thing. more in hell. Or Hades. <laughs> the word hell just makes Puchara sweat a little bit. Ugh. Wait, man. No, this guy's uh, not going to hell. He wasn't lawful at all. <laughs> <laughs> Rizwan just gives Poltara a blank stare. Oh, you, you have to care about rules to go to hell. Mostly. But let's move on. The, the whole universal ring is a, is a very hard topic to explain to people. This one is confused. Yes, exactly. That that's my exact point. You, you have to it's a magic thing. You you have to have like a basic understanding of magic to be able to comprehend the multiverse. Uh, Rizwin gives a dirty look. I mean, I, I could try to explain to you. We we did learn a bit about it. Another time! Let, let's not do this while I'm carrying a guy uh, with pl wearing plate mail. <laughs> can I fire? Can I, uh... Rizzo is just I, like, I can help you with that problem. Can I, can I, like, give off, like, the slightest Eldritch Blast just enough to, like, kind of nudge Patara over? And I'm like, it's best to tie your tongue now. I'm a devil, that's hard. Well, I'm sure her blades can make that much easier for you if you really, if you keep trying hard enough. I wasn't being insulting at all. Just just be quiet now. Okay. Hey. Either way, yeah, are we, are we all going to just go to the portal then? Yep. Okay, great. To, uh, Everlyn? Mm-hmm. Oh. So you guys are going to the, um, the nice garden. Yep. I'll, uh, Can we try to sneak in <laughs> I'm Yeah, let, <laughs> let's weaken at Bernie's, these guys. I don't understand the reference. Uh, oh, that's, that's a movie. It's a great movie. Yeah, it's the movie where like the guys put sunglasses on like a, a dead body or unconscious guy or something, and they just make it look like he's alive and just moving around. Basically, their boss tried to kill them, but he got killed instead, and they don't know this, so they kind of just pull his body around everywhere, making it ex acting like he's alive. And no one fucking knows it. <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put my panther mask on the guy who's behind, who's behind me on Ruby. You, 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 you should also get your disguise ready. We're going to Everland. We're going to where? Everland. Everland. God, maps. Where is that on map? You're literally going into the tower itself, though. Yeah, I get. I, I, I guess you'll be fine. I don't know. I was oh, more just giving you a heads up. I put on my Batman helmet. <laughs> oh, the helm of Comprehend. Yes. Engine. It covers up my whole face. Okay.
chaos control. Sorry, sorry, I was just getting a description of this portal. Any of I, you that get that reference, good for you. I forgot where everyone was it. for a quick second, so thank you for reminding me about that. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's good to... Like, uh, uh, I'm glad I get to remind people for how often I have to be reminded of things. <laughs> Alright, the old uh, Harper agent there just kind of quickly shoes you in. So you can get the hell out of his out of his hair. Excellent. Get off my lawn. Yeah, pretty much. It's kinda weird though, you you like walk through it, but it doesn't feel like there's things there. But you are whisked away. Out of the the sun and into the warm lit interior of the Harper's Tower in Everland. Uh, Rizwan is gonna turn to Reed when she says, "Is is this the like the Bane base?" Yeah. No, actually, I, be I believe there's different ones. The one in Waterdeep is also pretty big. But yeah, uh, I think this is the one that connects all of them, no? Uh, you can get to any of them from any of them. Oh, okay. I thought I don't know why I thought that they all led here, and then from here that you could go anywhere else. Nope, you can go to any of them from any of them. Yeah, we, we just had delivery to make. <laughs> Speaking of delivery, shouldn't you go get your rod? They, it's big, and we're about to use the portal again, aren't we? Your rod. Yeah, it's, it's really big. It's four foot long. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. You're. I think you're confusing it with that big piece that you guys found and dug up. It's not that? No, this the is... Fragment. Uh, the fragment. The rod uh, is what the fire giants were using to find the fragments. <laughs> you guys were uh, paid for the fragments, so... Oh, uh, okay, that that makes more sense. I thought it was just this huge thing I strapped on the side of my weapon. <laughs> oh, that is something my group did. Uh, they okay. strapped it to their wagon and took it to Waterdeep. Okay. Still, still not exactly the most convenient thing to be hauling around, but still, it it's better than... Me. Yeah, I'm gonna take it with us this time. Doesn't it just look like a really big tuning fork? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. But maybe they'll think it's my weapon. <laughs> yeah, it's like a strange-looking quarter staff or something. Or staff. A really weird trident. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like a thin rod, though. Could it just go, like, into the bag of holding? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Your attunement will break. Actually, your attunement has broken because it's been 24 hours. Oh. Hey, Reed, I think... Oh, wait, no. It, it stopped going the bag of holding. Yeah. I'm going to take it with us, and at some point I'll reattune to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh... You guys get some affairs uh, put together. Or I, I'm going to see if there's anything else I need from the wagon before we head off again. As you arrive, uh, Crowen uh, greets you and is like, uh, more guests? More what? like criminals uh, that we kind of like captured and have to remove from a certain city. Ah. What do they do? <clears throat> Ooh, boy. There's the whole list. Uh, they uh, extorted money from civilians. They hurt people. I don't know if they killed people. They called Ruby but a pet. Basically, they're corrupted guards. Corrupt guards, I mean. <clears throat> 
they called Ruby a pet. And she's gonna fold her arms, very annoyed and mad, but you can't really tell underneath the Batman. Kinda of just thinks, hmm. Well, I suppose we could do something to him. Isn't just kind of leans over to Badger and says, "If she's not a pet, then what is she?" The helm is gonna swiftly turn in Rizwan's direction. <laughs> she is not a pet. She's my companion. She is my partner. She is not a pet. <laughs> I could just imagine like that stone grinding noise as she turns her head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I suppose we'll take them. Uh, he pulls out like a thing, just smacks them all in the head again to make sure they're staying unconscious. I tell Ruby to sit so he slides off her back. I was going to Reed's ear. Don't forget about uh, see if we can get some information out of them. What would you like to know? Oh, Carl. Okay, uh, also, uh, there seems to be someone that we know that's involved, uh, with, uh, them. His name is Carl. Uh, apparently he was in prison for something. We don't really know, uh, why and we couldn't find out why. If you could question them, that would be really useful. Or have someone question them, of course. I know you're busy. Uh, I'll see what I can do, but I can't promise anything. Especially if these ones aren't the ones that uh, arrested this Carl. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but if you can find out anything uh, what why Carl is in prison, it would be really useful. Uh, why do you have an interest in this, this Carl? We know his dad. What was that? I said, we know his dad. Oh. Okay, then. Uh. His father is a good man. I hate to see his own son, only son die. His father is the master of Simon Overton Hall, so it would be very useful to have him. I'm kind of eyes getting a little wide at that. Really, he's a Zion Morvan. All right, well, if you insist, I will look into it. Thank you. Alright, what would y'all like to do? Uh, for, for you know what, on, on the way back uh, there from the wagon, I, I'd like to get some scrolls and some ink. Sure. Uh, expenses. Uh, how, how much is a scroll and how much is ink? Mm. Well, for the cases of the thing we discussed, uh, we will work on that as you work on them. You get to say you purchase enough for however much, and then it'll just take a little bit of time to do. Okay. Well, okay. You, no. you can subtract however many much gold you wanted to use. Yeah, well. Or we'll do that as you uh, start doing it. As that. I make. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay, uh, that, that's all I'm going to do after I get my hammer and my crowbar out of the uh, wagon. And I'm just going to meet up with the group again. And is seeing this, if everyone's ready to go or if they want to wait for something. Is this the tower with the flying cats? Yes, it is. While we're there, I'm going to let Onyx down so he can like play with his friends some more while we're there. While we're waiting on okay. uh, Char. Still with his nice little collar on. Of course, it's nice and shiny now. Shiny. Alrighty. 
I just realized that trisomes are basically cats, and I feel bad for uh, the guy who lives here for having a plethora of basically flying cats. They I mean, they're all mages, so... Well, there's a lot of mages, uh, others that are, aren't, but... They all know prestidigitation. <laughs> they, well, cats already are able to get up on, like, any piece of furniture or shelf. I, I don't see w what them being able to fly makes a difference. It really doesn't. They also, I think they're more intelligent, the Tresums are. They wear little monocles and top hats. They wear Cossacks. Anywho. I was just saying, because cats can be little shits sometimes. Yeah. Get, 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 getting to the basics, though, like, it, just throwing all, like, the... It's not exactly secrecy, just discreetness out the window. Uh, I'm planning on making some spell scrolls for everyone. So, yay. That's a thing now. Keep in mind, if it's not on their list, they can't cast it. Oh, wait, they can't? Nope. Wait, then what's the point of a spell scroll? Uh, to not use a spell slot. But, wait, you, you can't use a, a spell scroll if you don't know the spell? If you, if you cannot learn, if your class cannot learn the spell, you cannot use it. Oh. Huh. That puts a little bit of a damper on things. That's what the ring of spell storing is for. Yeah. My my new skill just became a lot less impressive. <laughs> Either way, yeah. I would I would imagine it's pretty good for warlocks. Yeah, I mean, at the worst, you write your own, you write spell scrolls for yourself so you don't burn through your spell slots. Yeah, but you burn I, through money. Yeah, like making a second level spell scroll is like two hundred and fifty gold pieces. And then you can sell it for more! Yeah, but... Nah. Especially on the higher level spells. Yeah. I mean, like, first level spell slots are only like... 21 gold pieces? Or t 25, I don't know why I said 21. I think... Okay. It's like 15 for cantrips, 25 for... Level 1s. I don't know why cantrips spell scrolls were a thing. Hardly do things with him, but true strike scroll. I cast Eldritch Blast. I mean, that's fine for you. Yeah. No, that would be but... hilarious. A lot casting a uh, Eldritch yeah. Blast on a scroll. Yeah, what? Why would I do that? <laughs> huh. I cast Prestidigitation. <laughs> with the spell scroll, just burns up. Why didn't you just cast it? Yeah, it was a spell. Crap! <laughs> because I spent money on it. Hmm. Well, I guess uh, I could I could still hand out uh, scrolls of healing words and cure wounds for me and Badger, at least. For the cure wounds, yes. Thing. Healing word, not oh, so okay. much. Oh, damn I mean, if anything, yeah, this you skill... go wrong with healing spell scrolls. Yeah. This one can that... cast things. I don't know. Ezra, would you like a, a scroll of shield? Will it still be considered a reactionary spell? Since it's on a yes. scroll? Then yes. Okay. Yeah, see, th this will work out. This one can cast spells. You can? It's called... Stab. <laughs> oh. I cast Shiv. <laughs> uh, run. Hmm. Hey, hey, either way, my, my skill is much more watered down now, but I'm still gonna do it. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Later, though. Later. Or let, let's get. To, or, where, where we head next? Water deep or to that eye of the All Father? Uh, you guys wanted to buy stuff, so we could go to Water Deep. I mean, we probably want to get more geared up for what we have to fight. 
plus for um, going up to a colder climate. Yeah, Indeed. that is true. So, hey, hey, I'm not sure we finalized this decision or not. Uh, I know I brought it up before. If we go to Waterdeep, are you guys fine if we go to Goldenfield afterwards and then go back to Waterdeep? Goldenfield? Yeah, Goldenfield. For what purpose? Uh, it's where my cousin lives, and he's under he's under the same curse I am. And since devils have started coming after us, I was kind of hoping him getting him a, a safer situation with the Bard College. Yeah, I don't see why we can do that. I think that's where we should go first, to be honest with you. Okay, excellent. <laughs> hmm. Well, but what about you, Leon? How, how are you liking that new sword? It's a sword. <laughs> you expect him to be enthused about something? That, so, I was expecting some level of self-fulfillment of completing a goal that you so desperately wanted for so long. But uh, huh? I, I see you're a little... I can see you're a little underwhelmed. I think Leon's version of excitement is him swinging the sword around, getting the feel for it. Well, uh, I, I was more just trying to get an estimation. Are are you feeling normal right now, or is this just your level of ed, ed static? Are we having a conversation here? So water deep, then. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is the session of awkward conversations for Pachara. Does anyone have a black cloak right now, by any chance? I have a black coat. Is it easily attainable by a badger? It's in my bag. It's also human tiefling size. Can badger attempt to get his jacket out of his bag? I mean, sure. Why do I roll to get his jacket out of his bag? Well, there'd be a, something about climbing first, wouldn't there? Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> if I try to climb up Polchar, I'm pretty sure he's gonna know something's going Oh, I bet I won't. Per wisdom minus one, thank you. I think you'd notice someone climbing all over you, though. Yeah. I just want to say that explains so much. Roll a sneak climb. <laughs> Would that be a stealth at a disadvantage and a perception at advantage? He's going to notice you climbing on him. Even as oblivious as Pulchara is... Wait a minute, something's touching my body. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I like you. It's the devil! Ah! I'm, I I'm used to feeling hands crawling under my skin. Can oh. I have your jacket, Char? What's that? Can I have your jacket, Char? Sure, here you go. Thanks. I go ahead and use the sleeves to tie it around my neck, and I throw the bottom of its cape in front of my helmet to go. Excellent. Do you want the matching top hat? No. I think she's trying to be Batman. I am the knight. I run off. Okay, I'll just wear it then. Top hat at Tiefling. Wait, how do you wear your top hat? How how do you wear that anyways? Hmm? On my head. I mean with your horns. Oh, my horns are on a... How my horns work are, they're both on my forehead, and they both go vertically up. The hatch is kind of behind them. Like, uh, if you're asking, like, the, the front of the ring of the hat is upwards, like, pressing against the horns. But the rest of the hat is on my head. Rizwin thinks to herself why it doesn't fall off. I have a top of a head. <laughs> Never mind. 
Oh God. Straw hats, on the other hand, I usually just poke my horns through. <laughs> so would do water deep? <laughs> God, these all but Shargate's putting it in weird positions here. All right, y'all ready to go to water deep? Why I don't collect we... onyx. How about this? Why don't we? Is the bar the bar college is a water deep, right? Yes. Well, why don't we just swing through Goldenfield, pick up your cousin or your nephew? I can't remember which. And cousin. then we go to Waterdeep. Because we can teleport to Waterdeep and then walk to Goldenfield and then walk back. Or we could rent horses. That's true. Yeah. I mean, we could rent, probably rent horses in Waterdeep and then go to Goldenfield. I, I mean, like, we could take the wagon to Goldenfield if you want, but we still have to swing past Waterdeep to do it. Well, it's going to be quicker to teleport either way, so... Agreed. To water deep. To water deep. I have a travel joke. All right. Out of game. Oh. What do you call ancient cat boys? What? Neanderthals. <laughs> Nope. Wow. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that was a catastrophic pun. Catastrophic. <laughs> I'm glad at least Snub is laughing. I didn't say it wasn't funny. I just refuse to give you the... Uh... I just refuse to give you the acknowledgement. I'm just laughing at Snub. I'll, I'll be right back. I gotta move a car real fast. Okay. Sorry, but puns and dad jokes are my weakness. So yeah, we tell we 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 hop in the teleport and go to Waterdeep. Hooray! Chaos control. Stop that! Oh. Remember, <laughs> we're not playing Sonic. We could be playing Sonic. I could be destroying that game. All right, you guys, Zoof. the portal, the teleporter. <laughs> All right. As you like, you come co come to with your eye vision uh, comes in. You seem to be inside an old stone building of some kind. Uh, stone. Re read any updates on where we are. Uh, I wouldn't know this place since I've been here, right? This is a crypt. Okay. Yeah, it's just a crypt. We just need to find our way out. Oh. Huh. Okay, so... Uh no caretakers like uh, like the other one. Okay. No, there there are people here. Just Let's see. Probably not here. Here. Yeah. <laughs> there is a, a small alcove, uh, like to the side. Oh. 
right then. When, when you do arrive, a pale woman uh, does uh, come in and look at you all. Uh, Reed, you know this is uh, Thestral Melardin. I will spell that out for you. If I could put my cursor in the right place. He's a human. Like in this chamber, there seem to be like ever burning uh, torches. And there is a stone staircase that leads uh, up and away a little further out. Okay. Uh. I'll just, uh, as we're pressing by, if she doesn't say anything, I'll just, like, uh, do a little bow and then continue walking. She reciprocates the bow. <sighs> the, the exit's straightforward, right? It's just yes, like, it's like a stone staircase that leads up, and then... There seems to be, like, a, a stone covering there. As you get close, it opens. And... See, an interesting thing that actually opens it for you. I can find it. This is what opens it for you. Ooh. Ooh, cool. I'm afraid of that. God. All right. Made of wood and metal. Clockworks. All right, and you guys are in the City of the Dead area of Waterdeep. Cool. Are, are we outside now, or...? Yeah, essentially. Okay. Uh, I, I am going to get, like, really close up uh, to Rizwin, and as we're walking and talking, I'm going to whisper to her, it's like, by the way, a bit of a heads up. If you hear anything uh, about a group of people called uh, the Mask Lords, d d stray away from them, please. He's, I hear there are a group of people you don't want to get involved with. Does Rizwin know who the Mask Lords are? Yeah, they're the leaders of Waterdeep. The... They're the ones that uh, aren't openly the leaders of Waterdeep. Is that right? And most of the lords of Waterdeep are not out in the open. You don't know who they are. The current open lord is uh, Laryl Silverhand. Ah, uh, yes. The old lady. But, like I said... Uh... Uh, I'm not sure are they bad or good or whatever. Let's just try to teach it, treat it like a let's hope God doesn't notice us situation. <laughs> I wish I had a better description for this area in a map, but I don't. I don't think this has one. I'll check, but I don't think it does. You want a map? Uh. Maybe. Okay. I'll Perhaps not like later. Are you going to do it real quick? Yeah. yeah. I'm not even going to log on to the thing. I'm just going to transfer it from another module. Okay. Since we're not Everland no more, Badger's going to give Charles his uh, 
coat back, put the helmet away, and she's gonna go ahead and put on her her sailor toddler. Yeah, you guys are in Waterdeep. What would you like to do? It is a bustling city. Can I do a puppet show? Polchara would stop you. Why? Does he hate children or something? No, because Polchara knows that uh, to do certain things you need licenses in Waterdeep. Yes. I'm I'm also doing a little bit of required yep. reading of the information you sent me just as a refresher. Okay. <laughs> you should have access to it now. Okay, I'll check. So I can't perform uh, for children. Thank you. Yeah, you, yeah. you you would get stopped by guards if you tried to make a public performance. Note to self, make guard puppets to make fun of later on. Well, like, as long as you get a license, you'll be fine. Good luck. How do you get a license? That's a good point. How do I get a license? Do I have one? I'm you, No. Uh, you can play at the college. But I don't think you got one anywhere for anywhere else. Oh, fair enough. Oh! Could, could I actually use my connections at the Bard College to get a license? At least for entertainment purposes? Well, we're not going to be here long. We're just buying and leaving over. Yeah, yeah. Just want to do a little bit of shopping. Got some business at the Bard College. Then we're leaving. I I just need to make sure that uh, the Bard College would accept him, given his current position. That position being that he's not a magic user at all. <laughs> And you guys are in this, uh, the City of the Dead. Holy moly, this place is big. Yeah, it is, it is a metropolis. It is gigantic. Well, I now understand why do most campaigns take place here. Is there any pet shops here? Specifically a magic pet shop. Oh crap. Yes. oh, crap. Do you have to have a license to be walking around with large pets or animals? Well, I say, you better no. not call him a pet right beside her. I would hope not, considering Harshnag lives here. Was no to Char or no to the magical pet shop? You'd have to find it. Yeah, it, it's a big city, and I haven't been here in, like, three years, so good luck. How would I find one? Uh, asking around, and hopefully finding the right person. There are, like, carriages that go, like, between different areas, but I think it's, like, 50 gold to use. Jesus. I also have my holy robes on right now, since we're in the City of the Dead currently. Well, I'm not sure that would actually help. It's Badger. It works for her and her head. I know I want to find the nearest either enchanter shop or blacksmith that would carry like magic weapons or a, a way to enchant weapons. I'm in the same boat as Ezra. Okay. So I guess, uh, uh, girls going first... one way and the guys going the other. Badger, give me an investigation check. And Riz want to help her since she's also looking. For the same thing? Yeah. Yes. So Badger, do it with an advantage. Okay. Alright, you find someone who actually has a pseudo-dragon on their shoulder. Oh. 
Badger got. Sorry, I got so excited. I actually logged myself off of the board. What was that? Uh, it does not take you long to find someone who knows the information. No, no, I heard pseudo dragon. Yes, the they have. Ha this person has a pseudo dragon on their shoulder. Hi. Um, I've noticed you have a uh, lovely companion there. I was wondering, did perchance chance you find him here? I thought I did. You wouldn't happen to know the quickest direction to the location, would you? So I'm gonna say you found this guy like right here. Because you like found him immediately. I'll have a Onyx kind of drape over my head right now. Yes, if you go westward and take the high road south and keep going, you'll eventually get down to the way of the dragon, actually. And it is... Yeah. Oh. Uh... Would you say they take care of their animals well? Oh, definitely. At the corner of... Telchambro Street. Actually, like, right there. It's going to take you... A couple hours to get there. No, wait. That's... Is this... Is that map right in the... In the... To department, damn it. I don't know what the scale of this map is. I'll say it takes you about it'll take you about an hour and a half to get down there. Do you know the shopkeep well? Hello. And so, like, what a name. Huh? Hey, he's, he's trying to get a name. Oh, okay. Must be yes, it is a uh, Goliath gentleman by the name of Agroth Fearless Heart. How long has he been dealing with animals? Does he find them homes rescued, or... Do he just go and catch? Can That's... you ping where the shop is? Yeah. Not right uh, there. Okay. The edge of the duck trade in Southern Ward. Oh, yeah. Um, how does he get his animals? That I'm not sure of. Does he call them pets? And she's going to look at him kind of judging a little. Well, I mean, it is a pet shop. But I believe he considers them friends. Badger will smile at that and nod. And say thanks. We're just trying to find a place that possibly has some more pseudo dragons. It'd be nice to have a companion. Nice to have a companion as you have two with you currently. Companions get lonely. Companions need companions. Besides, outside a game, I've always wanted a pseudo dragon to give a little coin to, so that would be his little own little horde. Now he keeps with the. Yep, the cat of the dragon race. That's why I want one so bad. So you officially will have three cats now, crazy cat lady. Um, before Is the we go, dragon actually a cat though. No. Before we go, can I ask the guy, is it okay if I give a pseudo-dragon a cop? Uh, 
And he kind of, uh, do you speak Draconic? Me? Yes. Uh, yes. Hang on. Rizwin does. Shit. <laughs> so does Badger. I speak it too. All right, well, he says uh, to his uh, companion, uh, what do you think, scampers? Scampers? I'm going to do my best to stifle a cooing sound, like super excited, and like, ah! <laughs> Just think, type. It uh, nods its head. So you give it a copper? Yes, I give it a copper piece to add to its collection. It kind of it, it takes it, looks at it, puts it in its mouth, and scampers back up to his shoulder. That's all I can do right now, but I hope that you like it. And I'll say that in Draconic, just smiling at it. Okay. Whereas when I think we should get going before I, I would talk to this guy so more because it's so cute. I mean, you can talk to him more if you want. I was just going to go ahead and go. No, I'm going with you because I want one so bad right now. Why don't, let you, why don't you let me have a pay? You already have two. We can both get one. And they're not pets! <laughs> All right. Uh, you can tell Rizwin is slightly jealous that you got a tresem from the tower and she didn't. Yeah, because Badger's insight's pretty good too. What I see? Rizwin's kind of jealous that you were able to get a tresem from the tower and she wasn't. I can't help it that animals like me. All right, and the other half of the group, you're all looking for uh, an enchanter shop. Or slash, a, place, uh, a place to buy magic slash. items. Yeah. All right, make an investigation check. If someone's helping, make an advantage. Well, let me say this. Um, is it, I know Polchar and myself are going. Reed and Leon, what are you guys going to do? No, I'll go with you guys. Uh, I'm gonna find, like, some sort of, like, entertainment around here. Okay. All right. so, okay, have fun at the bar. Make sure they have a license. <laughs> um, investigation... Um... I'll help you out. Sure, I got a zero in it. We'll see what happens. Oh, me too. <laughs> oh, wait, no, my investigation's a plus one. Either way, you do it. Well, then I'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you said you'll do it. You, you do it. I'll help you out, though. Like... Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> you guys are looking for a while, like a couple hours. To find the, um, a place that sells magic items. You do eventually find one. Turns out you passed by it a few times. Can't ima I, I hate to see imagine what the nat the nat one response to that was. About the same, a little bit longer. <laughs> All right.
night, you find Vrajni kind of an interesting... You haven't seen one of these in a while. When you go in, you see a female tabaxi. Hello. It's Misty. I... No, she's dead. So you thought. Yeah. But yes, hello there. I'm Pachar Dablis. Yes, and uh, this this is my friend Ezra and Reed. Greetings. We're looking for wares of uh, the magical sorts. <laughs> Aye, I've got wares. Anything in particular you are looking for? To... Ezra, do you want to go first? This was your idea. Well, I'm looking for perhaps something that's a little bit better than my rapier here. That or something that can make it a little bit better. And the same for my shield. If I can make my shield a little bit a little bit better or a little bit better shield. Mm, I do not have anything like that. But I do have and she will like flourish and like pull out some boots. These boots will help you in cold climates, make you not even feel the cold. The boots are the winterlands. This, this lovely green cloak, to make you silent. Blend in with the shadows. It's a cloak of elven kind. And this, and she kind of like pulls out this like like velvet looking like thing that has that's like purple on one side, black on the other. She flows it out, and you see like a, a ten foot pit. This, oh, you just fold this in your pocket, and you can carry lots of stuff. It's a portable hole. She pulls out a ring. It kind of uh, has a warm glow to it. Like the boots, this will help you with colder weather. It's a ring of warmth. And she pulls out a... Like a, a cloth thing that's uh, like three foot long. Unfolds it and there is a nice bow in it. You use this. It'll be easier to hit your targets. She pulls out an amulet that has that's just like gold. This will help bolster your immune system. Amulet of health. God, I need that in real life. Don't we all? And then she pulls out like this um like inch, like a ruby. And this, well, potentially could help you if you are a spellcaster. You attach it to your weapon. You can use it to channel your spells. It's a ruby of the war mage. She puts out this uh, this belt that has like a dwarven face on it, and she puts it on, and immediately grows this beard. And this, oh, it'll make you a little harder. And and in dwarvish, she will say, and also grow you a nice beard. When she pulls it off, the beard just kind of dissipates. It's a belt of dwarven kind. Then she puts out, pulls out this like a nice a, a rod that uh, and then this well for some folk that don't get their powers from themselves this may help and just for this this is the list of things she has and their prices.
Ooh, what Passing what does the bullet. pack keeper thing do? Plus one raw to the pack keeper. It, it if helps. you you if you're holding on to that, your spell attacks as a warlock. Your warlock spells have a plus one to hit and plus one to damage rolls, I believe. And also, the saves have a it's a adds plus one to your the save DC. And you can use an action to replenish a spell slot. Okay, that second thing definitely has me interested. It, uh, yeah, exactly. I, unfortunately, both me and uh, Ezra both, like, our hands are typically full in combat. Actually, I have a rapier. Um, and a shield. And a shield, yeah. Yeah, the, the rod of Pack Keeper doesn't really suit either of our fighting styles that much. Yeah, um, I, I'm also gonna gather everyone and like kind of uh yeah, one one moment please and get us huddled in the corner so she can't hear our opinions towards things. I really think we should probably pick that bow up for Badger, but we already have we already have a uh, those arrows. Uh, the um freaking bag of holding we have we already have a uh something very similar to the portable hole <laughs> whatever well uh, that that magical item that allows you to store things you know i i was gonna say uh i was interested in that amulet of health but i saw the price tag on it and honestly as long as we get the right clothing i don't think the boots or the ring are gonna be a big concern for us oh yeah i'm pretty good at keeping warm on a, on a meta level it also gives you resistance to cold damage yeah that would be interesting i uh, think you me, would benefit a lot from all these items all these items uh do all of them acquire a tuning or some of them uh, some of them do. Uh, most of them do. I think the only one that doesn't is the portable hole and the short bow. I'd have to double check. That's right. I think you. I think you could benefit a lot from the ruby of the war mage. I was, th I was thinking so as well. Yeah. Because it I... would allow me to. It would allow me to cast. Um, cast, uh, cast spells while in com like while actually in combat. Oh yeah, definitely. Like uh, I usually have like a free hand, so I can just grab hold of my component pouch. Ouch! But you, you, you don't really have that luxury. I basically have to cast all my spells before I jump in, and then start, then start fighting. Yeah, it's also like a hundred gold. At Old, like, uh, if you want that, I definitely support you on getting that. Uh, hey. outside of game, are, are we generally just gonna go for what's in the bag of holding, everybody, for the most part? Just depending on what it is. For the meta level, you guys can t discuss what you wish to buy, what you wish to use to spend it on, because you do have all those gems and uh, treasures inside the bag of holding. And some of you also have gold, so... For the sake of this, I am saying if you want to pick something from this up, even if the party member is currently not, you know, with the party here, you can pick it up for them and we'll say they paid for it. Okay. I don't well, know. I, was thinking, I, I personally was thinking we use what we have in the bag of holding to pick up, like, basically try to keep the spending... Unless it's just like, unless it's like super like for that one person that yeah. they just really want, then they spend they spend their own money on. But if it's for the good of the party, for that person to have that item to use, what's in the bag yeah. of holding? Does that make sense? Yeah, I, I know what you mean. So like that... the bow, I think should come out of the bag of holding, personally, because it would be a good idea to give you know Badger. Uh, plus one in combat and 
I'll buy the war, uh, the the ruby of the war mage out of my own gold if I have to. Like that's that would be more of a only really benefits me more thing. Helps you makes it so you don't have to switch gears in combat now. Yeah, so I'm 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 happy. I'm more than happy to pay 100 gold for that. But for the bow, I think we should take it out of the bag of holding. All right. That also being said, I think either you or Leon could both very much benefit from the cloak of ever of Ev Elven kind. The cloak of Elven kind is just going to balance out my disadvantage. That's all it's going to do. Yeah, the only things on there that are, do not require attunement are the uh, portable hole and the short bow. Everything else does. I want to try to keep the amount of attuned items on my person down to a minimum because I already have the uh, ring of mind shielding. Hmm. Also, uh, a question for you, Fish. Uh, the, mm -hmm. the rod of the Pact Keeper, how long is that? It's like a, let's say a foot long. Would there be any way that I could get uh, the handle of my greatsword replaced by it? <laughs> I'm afraid not. <laughs> yeah, I figured. <laughs> but I mean, if you have it attached to your belt, and you just uh, need, you can just quickly let go one hand and go and grab it, and then do your material components. Oh. Oh, like how I do uh, the component pouch? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm I'll, I'll allow in. that. Yeah, I'm definitely interested in that in. Then uh, my, my Eldritch Bush will get a lot stronger, and uh, that's only for the Warlock side of my magic, though, also, right? Yeah, I need to double-check it, uh, but I would need to... Mm. I, have, I, need, I, I need to pull the... Um... Ooh... I am interested in that now. I do not have the gold for it, sadly. I have a quick question for y'all. Does anyone else have only single digits worth of money? Or did I forget to write down something? You have 110 gold from the platinum. You currently have? I don't know where you've been spending your gold or whatever. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't think I've really spent money much anyway, except for a few pieces of leather. That was about... I've barely been spending any of my money, so I have a decent amount. I've been saving up for when we come here to actually uh, do some enchanting and stuff. That's what um, I figure out. I also did earn some money on the side. So that's why I would have more than the rest of you. Yeah. That also being said, uh, did what? Oh god, I I you guys know me. I hate asking for money from the party loot. <laughs> well, I mean, like I said before, if as long as everyone's okay with it, I don't mind it coming out of the party loot. If it's gonna, if it's if it's helpful to you and the party as a whole to have to have it come out of the party loot, but if it's just something that only helps you, then you should probably have it come out of your own goal. Yeah. Uh like I said, uh, what what this would do for me is all of my Eldritch Blast would be more accurate and do more damage. And that was also why I was asking about the thingy, because I guess healing magic, but I guess that doesn't matter. Hellish Rebuke would probably be strong. No, it wouldn't, because that's a reaction. Branding Smite, not sure if that counts. It means a spell. Yeah. I don't know. What, what what is everyone's consensus on that? I'm fine For with it. Rock? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a uh, 500 gold pieces. It's it's going to increase your damage in combat and my accuracy. So For... it's going to be beneficial to everyone because oh, you're helping deal more damage. Oh, it also increases my spell DC for uh, for warlock spells. So hell as long as long as you're touching your uh, as long as you're touching it when you cast it, yes. Crap! So no reactions on that then. <laughs> okay. Uh, suggestion be more effective. 
Mm. It can also it, it also re regen a spell slot as an action. Oh. Yeah. One of your warlock spell slots. Once per day. Uh, so is, is everyone's consensus that they're fine with it, or is anyone against it? That because. I would like to use uh, one of the two rubies. That's fine. Just a straight up trade. There's also a platinum necklace too. A platinum necklace? And that's 500 gold as well. Oh yeah, we could use that. Alright, well I know for sure that I'm going to pay 100 gold out of my own pocket for the war ruby of the war mage. Um... Everybody all right with us getting the bat bow for Badger out of the party list? The bow? Uh, yeah. She, she yeah. needs a magic weapon. Yeah. Yeah, she does. And Ruby of the War Mage basically is a war caster feat, right, Fish? Kinda, but not quite. You're, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be super stingy. Actually, you with the rod of the pack keeper, pull charge. Just fucking use it. I don't care. I'm not gonna be super stingy about uh, all that stuff. <laughs> I mean, usually, usually, if it has like a, if it doesn't have a material component, you need a free hand to do uh, the somatic. But I don't really care. <laughs> uh, it d doesn't it essentially like turn uh, whatever the weapon it's equipped to into a component pouch? Yeah, it turns it into a focus. But usually, if it doesn't have a, like a, a material component, you need a free hand. Even if you have a focus in it, it doesn't really... It's... Don't worry about it. It's one of those weird rules, but we're not going to worry about it. Just for future reference, what, what exactly does the Amulet of Health do? It sets your constitution to 19. Ooh. That's why it's so fucking expensive. I mean, it's nice for a tank. Yeah. Or someone with no health. <laughs> that too. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of the Gauntlet of Ogre Strength. Yeah, it's similar. It's basically like like that or the uh, headband of intelligence. Yep. My paladin from another campaign ha got those about the got the gauntlets of ogre strength. You guys missed a pair in uh, Lost Mine. Yeah, I I knew it was there somewhere, but I didn't want to look for things <laughs> that Gregory didn't know was there. Yeah. Totally right. could have helped him with that great sword. <laughs> Oh, yes, definitely. He would have truly mastered all of his strengths. What do you guys think? Two diamonds for, uh, two diamonds? For... Uh, it's probably better if we don't use diamonds, because uh, we can use those to revive people. Uh, okay, how about the, uh... Do we, do we even... I I'm fine if we just want to use the necklace or ruby and just get 50 gold back and just count your expenses in with it. I mean, I could pay out a gold. It doesn't matter to me. The... You guys also have 63 platinum inside the bag. 630 yeah. gold. Mm -hmm. I would much rather like use items though first before we start going into the actual money. But it's items one of... you can always barter for a higher price by saying, oh, we can't get rid of that. That's the jewel of the sea. And up talking and gets over to well, it's also kind of that argument. What what would you rather be carrying around in your wallet? One $100 bill or ten $10 bills? I'd rather be carrying around ten $10 bills just because it's easier to manage my money that way. It's also kinder, too. So It's like that scene from Dexter's Laboratory when he goes to the ice cream man and he pays him a $100 bill. Yeah. And later in that same episode, he paid it all within pennies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, wait, that was first, then the hundred dollar bill. Later. Yeah, that's that's why he made the thing, but it was a hundred dollar bill. So. <laughs> okay, so are we saying we want to use the 
we would use gold versus items then, or... Well, I, I'm fine with just using the items. Me too, personally. I mean, either way works. All right, so for the Rod of the Pact Keeper and the Shortbow, that's 850 gold worth of stuff. I mean, if you guys really want me to go in on that, we can just get 50 gold back. Otherwise, we can just add 100 gold back to the party. I'm fine with you just using the party loot for that, Ruby. All right. We'll get 50 gold back then. Okay, you get rid of two 500 gold things, and then you take 50 gold back. Yeah, I'm totally not just saying that as advice, because I'm also using the party loot in this situation. Badger, I've put a plus one short bow in your inventory. Okay, okay. And that, even with mundane arrows, that is counts as magical. So. I've updated the party loot, so now we have 61 gold. And, uh... 61 gold instead of the 11, and we no longer have the two rubies. Okay, I'll give you this. And I need to make a card for... I will make a card for the um, Rod of the Pact Keeper. Okay. Yeah, I'm adding that in my inventory now. So I'm assuming the shop that we're at right now is more of a magic item shop in, than a enchanter shop. Yes. Okay, so then we would have to, at some point, look for an enchanter shop then to do what I, what I was looking for originally. Yep. And uh, I'd recommend finding that place before we leave town. Um, rather than after, so that they can enchant it while we're off on our trip. That's very true. Um, I mean, if it's not too much, that's what I would want to try to find, is someone that could do enchantment. Maybe ask around this time. <laughs> Make it a little easier. Um, maybe the College of Lore knows something? I mean, I've had in there before we leave anyway, so... <laughs> That's true. We could just go up there and ask. That'd probably be best. You said Before we while. leave, uh, uh, I'll ask, uh, is she willing to trade for scrolls? Uh, potentially. Which ones do you have? I will show her uh, dark vision and hold person. Alright, those are both level twos. Yep. I accidentally closed that magic magic shop handout and I can't find it. It's at the very top. Oh. Of course I didn't see it. Let's see. There we go. Got that set up. Okay, uh, what were you hoping to get? Breed. Bring of warmth. Okay. We should probably also buy some fur coats while we're here. She would give you 100 gold back if you give her those two scrolls. Okay, I'll do that. Alright. And I will get you a thing soon. Okay, it doesn't it, the rod of the pack keeper doesn't it doesn't increase your damage, but it does increase the uh, chance to hit.
Wait, what? say that again. Uh, the Rod of the Pact Keeper, Pact Keeper does not increase your damage, but it does increase your uh, two hit and your spell save DC. Ah, uh, okay. Still good. Still, still also restores, restores the spell slot too, right? Yes, it can do that as well. Okay, still a pretty good weapon. Now, is the spell slot restoring infinite, or are there certain are there charges once, once a day. per day? Okay. But again, for a warlock, that's pretty good. Like I, I personally think that aspect of it would have helped Ezra a little bit more than me. But I think the combat uses of it benefited me more. And it is an attuned item, so I'm attuned to two objects now. I can only get one more, unless I want to drop the rod. Which, I, I don't think, I think all of you are probably... Did he drop on us? Did Ooh. I drop... Oh. Uh, Hello? Howdy. Everybody else, hello? <laughs> I hear Platoon. Hi. Now. Hello. I'm not here. Hello. Just making sure. I'm here. Yep. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Yep, I got all the stuff it does uh, in my character sheet now. Updating all, all right. my spells. I don't see a point to really be updating Vicious Mockery, but, you know, it's something I can do. Well, it won't really affect your Vicious Mockery. It should automatically update your spell save DC, right? Yep, and it does specify Warlock spells. So cool. Still good right. weapon, though. Ring of Warmth. It might not be in the compendium. It is. Excellent. Oh, this may be cheating a little bit, but I, I, I gotta ask. Does that count towards Green Flame Blade as well? <laughs> Or is that only going to count as a, still a weapon attack still? <laughs> That's a weapon attack. Fair enough. Do I have an image for this? I wonder if I do. Ring of... No, I don't. All right. He has gotten the Ring of Warmth, Rod of the Pact Keeper, plus one, Shortbow, plus one, Ruby of the War Mage. Leon, you find a place called the Field of Triumph. Where they have battles. Sometimes mock battles, sometimes real battles, but they try not to keep people dead. That's fair. This is more home. I figure that's be a place where you uh, come toward. It was either this or like a, a, a betting arena for like horses or something like that nature. Mm. Anyways, do they uh, do bets or no? Uh, currently they're not taking bets. Dang. Can I enter the arena anyway? Oh, you want to be in the ring? Yeah, I want to, like, go in for one, one mock battle. Okay. Although, I don't know if they have allowed, though, since it's probably need, like, a permit. I don't know the rules around here. Well, they can see that you're well-dressed. Um... Make a performance check. 
using your ath- yeah. using your strength if you're proficient in s- are you proficient in performance I'm Leon I don't think well, so use yeah. uh either yeah a performance use their strength or charisma whichever is better no athletics this since this is a performance that's why I'm allowing you to use your strength all right Well, that's goes about right. All right. Uh, it's not the best you've had, but people seem to enjoy it. You're not used to people watching you, and this is also a mock battle. You're used to real, real fights. But you do. Uh, you get. Ten platinum. Neat. I might be too generous on that, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, probably are. Maybe a little bit. Either way. I'll probably just sit, continue to watch some actual battles from this point on. Yeah, you get that basically over the course of the day when you do find some betting. It's not like immediate, but they do eventually do have some that are. Could have sworn some guy's throat got cut, but uh, the clerics nearby kept him alive. The person that uh, that did the cut kind of got reprimanded. A little frowned upon. Going for killing blows. All right. Badger and Rizwin. Yes. I'm trying to think. Do they have flumps? The shop is called. The Stone Jungle. Because the proprietor's a Goliath. And I couldn't think of something better. Wait, is Rizwan a wizard? No. Huh. She was. Uh, oh, right. The old version of you was the one that had the ferret, right? Yes, it was her familiar. Right, okay, sorry. I was just thinking, like, huh, whatever happened to her ferret? Oh, yeah. And it was a weasel, thank you. I'm not going to apologize for that. He does not have a flump, but when you walk in... Oh, hello! When he sees uh, Badger and both Op- uh, Onyx and Ruby, he's like, oh. His eyes light up. And he immediately rushes over and... May I? As his fee wishes to pet them. Yes, thank you for asking before you did so because it could have <laughs> wound up pretty bad. I'm gonna say I'm gonna kind of just pat Ruby on the neck, let her know it's okay, just so she doesn't attack. Right, he like very, very gently pats Ruby and like scratches Onyx's uh, under Onyx's neck. What are their names? Their names are Ruby and Onyx. Oh, those are beautiful. Beautiful names. Hello and welcome. I am. I am Agroth. How can I help you today? Well, um. I've. We've had, uh. 
the wonderful experience of meeting some Tresems, though only she was able to befriend one, and now I am having the wish to procure my own companion. And I was wondering what your selection is like. Can I interact with the animals around the shop while they're talking? Sure. Roll an animal handling with advantage. Advantage? Very nice. Did at I one at it? one at one point you are like covered in animals. Badger does not mind this at all. This one is jealous. <laughs> all right. Uh So uh, what uh what might you be interested in? What what sort of uh animal might interest you? We have uh, uh, animals both regular and exotic. Well, I don't want something too big, like Ruby here, but I want something that'll kind of be very affectionate, kind of wants to almost want to, like, cuddle in my hood or something. Hmm, so probably nothing that's scaly in nature. And I was very taken in by uh, Onyx there. And um, for some reason it chose her over me, but I feel like <laughs> she's much better at animals since she has more experience. So I guess one that doesn't require a lot of... It's not too hard to take care of. Or like one summon for a... an inexperienced pet owner, so to speak. Hmm. Well, I'll trust them as our a... Uh intelligent they choose who they wish to bond with sometimes uh unfortunately it does not work out your friend there she seems very in tune with nature the animals seem to be loving her and just oh my god uh, ma'am are you okay <laughs> as you are currently covered in animals i'm fine if you don't hear me laughing, then come find me. <laughs> this one does not want a hermit crab. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have some tresems, uh, weasels. We got some, uh, birds, an owl. Although he's a little, uh, well, look at him, and he, like, looks up to, to the ceiling, he's gonna, like, this, this owl that is giving zero fucks about anything. He somehow came here from a faraway land. I don't know it's how he got here. Thaddeus. It might be Professor Thaddeus. <laughs> You should call him Doctor Who. God. Somewhere in the distance, you hear Bo say, The fucking owl! <laughs> <coughs> There's no animals here that I don't recognize, is there? No, you recognize most of, pretty much all of them, yeah. You do see, uh, like, a, a two pseudo-dragons. 
wait, he's actually selling pseudo dragons, or those are his companions? Because they're very intelligent creatures to sell them. So are Tresims. The sell them would be kind of weird, <laughs> but okay. Hey. They need to bond with you. What color are the dragons? What did he say was available? I heard Tresims and the owl. Uh, weasels, some uh, birds, uh, and other than the owl, like there's a, a few ravens. Uh, pseudo dragons are red. They have like this, like a, it looks like a scorpion stinger at the end of their tail. Yeah, they're technically they're not considered dragons. I think they're considered fey creatures. They are they technically are. dragons. Uh, you, you're thinking of fairy dragons. Fairy dragons are also dragons. technically dragons. <laughs> None of those here, though. Mr. Fairy Argos. dragons are so pretty. I would have loved to have it. Is it okay if I offer your two pseudo dragons here a coin? I don't mind. Uh, uh, I'll let Rizmoon finish first. I feel like it would be weird for Rizwan to want a weasel. <laughs> Not unless it's like in the back of your mind, like, I don't know why, but a weasel seems so interesting. <laughs> um, I think she wants to look at the Tresums first. Alright, I'm gonna see if one bonds with you. Yes? Alright. Oh, oh. Badger. Yeah, oi. I'm still underneath the pile of animals, aren't I? Is is there a way you can help me bond with this Tressum? <laughs> what? Put I... in a good word for me. <laughs> what size is what size are Tressum? It's about the size of house cats. So small or medium? There's they're tiny I Tiny. Tiny, yeah. I mean, compared to you, they're kind of large, but... I'll put in a good word for Rizwin. Okay. With your Speak with Small Beasts, I will allow Rizwin to roll animal handling with advantage. And I'll also convince him that if they did come with us, they would not be the only trust him on this adventure, because I have Onyx and let Onyx... After I crawl my way out from the pile of animals. Eh? That's just enough. Yes! It it's seems reluctant pleased. at first, but with Badger's words, it seems to open up a little bit. Is it in a cage, or is it just walking around? It is not freely? in a cage. It is freely walking around. Okay. I'm gonna find a picture for my Tressum. Okay. Now Onyx has a friend! Yay! Or a mortal enemy. Oh god, that is true! <laughs> Depends. Oh, and no. he, like, leans over, he's, like, towering over you because he's much taller than you. Uh, the Goliath gentleman. You who? You me who? You her who? Uh, Rizwin. Rizwin turns to the Goliath, says, Um, this one seems to like me. Uh, how much would it be? He smiles and nods, indeed it does. Uh, those were typically 50 gold. Alright. Brisbane will hand him five platinum pieces. Alright. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Now that I'm free, can I go to the dragons now? The pseudo actually um, one one flies away and 
scoops up one of the platinum pieces away from the Goliath and it perches up in a corner. I, I I have a few questions to ask, if you don't mind. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Um. First, is this a boy or a girl? Badger's just gonna blink. Rissman just shrugs, like, I've never had a pet before. Ah, oh, that's a that's a female. All right, and oh, what do tresems typically eat? Things that regular house cats would eat. Things like uh, fish or little bits of meat. Uh, Brisbane, I can help you feed your tresem, you know. Well, I wanted to ask, since he is the pet shop owner. <laughs> Animal companions. Her eyes can kind of wince a little bit. Uh, if you ever have a problem or if uh, she gets sick, we can bring her back. And I am a vet as well. Okay. Will do. And uh, thank you again. It's been a pleasure. Uh, Rizwan will turn to Badger and uh, ask her if she has done her business. I want to go see the dragon! You, you can see the, uh, the pseudo-dragon, yeah. I already asked permission, so I'm going to say in Draconic to the pseudo-dragon. If I may be so bold, may I offer you a silver coin for you to add to your hoard if you have one? He did give you permission to do that. He did give me permission, yeah? Yes, he did. Okay, so then I'm just asking the dragon, so the one pseudo dragon that's still low to the ground, because obviously I can't reach the rafters, and ask yeah. him if that's okay. <laughs> you pull out the coin and its eyes glow, like, go wide and glitter. It's like, oh. I put the coin in my palm of my hand and I'll bow my head, extending my hand out to it, like offering it the coin. It uh, reaches out one of its uh, claws and picks it up and flies up to one of the rafters and starts gnawing on it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I wish I had a handout for these, but I do not. Oh, I found the perfect picture picture for my Tresem. I take it he's not going to come back down, either of them are. Doesn't seem like it, no. I'll go ahead and put one more silver coin each where they were sitting on the podium that bow my head again. And I'll look up the owl to see if the... Because I think owls are considered small animals. Like, do I understand anything this owl is saying right now, or is it just kind of staying quiet? I'm not going to lie, it I is would love doing... to hear grumpy owl. <laughs> It is doing nothing. I would like to yell up, would you like some meat? We have some spare meat. So you kind of like who a little bit, using your like sounds and gestures. <laughs> it looks at you, blinks once, and turns its head 180 degrees. I can toss it up to you if you don't want to fly down. It does look like you're adding a little bit of weight to your... It turns the rest of its body around. Did you just keeping call the its owl head fat? Facing the wall. I like you. I'll make sure I leave some extra food with Mr. Argoth here. <laughs> and also tell the pseudo jackets not to pick on the owl too much. I just found a picture on Pinterest of a bee cat. Mr. Argoth, sir, how long have you been an animal companion trader? I have been in this business for... Well, here, only about three years. All your animals look relatively healthy and happy here. 
I'm glad that they have such a caring, caring person to watch over them. Oh, well, of course. I live for animals. They are... My friends. And he smiles. Her eyes, and you're like all sparkly, and she's gonna have the biggest smile on her face. I know, right? Aren't they so cool? And it's so great to actually be able to talk with some of them. Some of them don't talk back much, but it's kind of nice to have companions and friends like that. Oh, that'd be so nice to be able to do sometime. Unfortunately, I am un incapable of doing it. Well, before we go, is there anything you want to tell them? I can translate for some of them. They, they kind of have to be small, though. Sorry. There's not too many big animals from where I'm from. I don't believe that will be necessary. They know your intention. She's gonna say that with a smile tilting her head to the side. But, yeah, the pseudo dragons are really cool. Thank you for letting me see them. I was hoping to talk with them a little bit since they're so smart, but I guess I'm not smart enough for them. <laughs> She's gonna say, chuckling, rubbing the back of her Ah, uh, those two, they just like to keep to themselves. Well, at least they're one silver richer now, right? <laughs> She's gonna start laughing. Well, one of them is a platinum richer. And he kind of looks up a little... Not really angry, but like... He's like, not. I'm not angry, I'm disappointed face. <laughs> because it took one of his platinum pieces. Being disappointed is worse than angry. <laughs> I don't have much, but I have an extra platinum if it'll make you feel better. So he can no, keep his little that, will, that will not be necessary. It's very hard to take money back from a dragon, no matter the size. Thanks again for letting us see your shop. I, hopefully we'll see it again later. I really like seeing all these animals, and they're so nice. Thank you for stopping in. It's good to see friendly faces. Does he mean that in generality, or does that mean he's seen us before? In generality. And also, you in particular, because you're so in tune with animals. I like to go hug and pets and scratch all the animals goodbye, even the scaly ones. Alright. Out of game, do I have to worry about her trusting the my trust of Gnosis or opposite genders? No. Thank God. Okay. I am not micromanaging freaking pets. <laughs> That's Just why they're non-combat. You don't get any benefits from them. They are excess. Oh. Out of game, like considered said, accessories. Can... Like I said, they can see invisibility. I'm going to train mine to let me know when they see some. No. <laughs> see, or... my pets. Or we could breed them and start our own shop. No. Onyx is not going near her that way. They could be friends, but not that friendly. You forget he's also a vet. He probably he probably took care of that already. Not necessarily. I I'm joking. Roll for balls. <laughs> I had, I did. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you were old for my dress of gender. I did. Well, I'm glad it was a female. Yeah, evens female, odds male. I said like my handsome boy. Alright, so I guess we're... I guess do we want to try to get the party together and then go up to the Bard's College and then go from there find an enchanter? Uh, sure. Before uh, I leave the shop, can I use my bag of tricks three times? Um. To show him the animals? Yes. I'm sure he would love to see the animals. Um. He's gonna ask you, like, oh, please, please don't. Uh, it, well, I might be fine. The. Other, the smaller animals might be intimidated if something large comes. Or if... You can go outside if you want to. That might be more of an issue. You don't want you the don't want gu <laughs> guards to 
Causing a panic kind of carries a hefty fine. More than kicking a guy in the shin for spitting? Uh, that also kind of might, uh, if it's considered assault, might be a hefty fine. Technically, he spit first. That's Spitting okay. isn't considered assault, Badger. In real life, technically it is. Legally, it is in real life. Well, this is D&D. Waterdeep has a code legal. Yes. And it's fucking expensive to break yeah. the law. Yeah. If you get caught breaking the law, you... You're paying. <laughs> if you murder someone, you're basically dead. Oof. I'm going to look at Riz when if does he say that aloud or is that the DM saying? This is DM speak. I'm about to say when he's if he says that, yeah. Badge is going to look directly at Riz when and give her the hardest stare. I'm sure I probably will relate uh, how strict the laws are. Yeah, you are I familiar with the code legal. And if you I want to, you can look up the code legal off time. If you want to know about the uh, Waterdeep uh, laws and stuff. Oh, all right. I'll probably do that. That, that goes for everyone as well. If you've played Waterdeep Dragon Heist, you are familiar with this. Ooh, I have that book. All right, everyone. You do eventually manage to reconvene. I assume you guys gave a location or Polchara would have given you a location to go to or to meet up later uh, oh. or Reed sends you now sends a message out to somebody and that too way we meet up to be fair yeah I, I don't think Polchara has that kind of foresight <laughs> Rizwin does there. want to buy uh, winter clothes she's not really looking for magic items just like heavy like clothes i'm i'm glad you're on the same page as me oh. what like what while we were leaving i was planning on like buying some kind of fur coats for everyone <laughs> i will say it'll be about five gold per person just to make it uh, simple for Do I uh, need winter one with the crags cat coat clothes? yes and you you also get something for ruby i'll say i'll get her some booties so she's in like kids frostbite. So no, she won't be able to use her claws, but she won't get frostbite in her paw. She's gonna do the weird thing when you put shoes on cats. <laughs> Where they have which a one, legs the really high. Stepping or, <laughs> either the high stepping or they fall over. Which which one? Oh, the oh, one where they lift their paw up and then just shake it really hard, <laughs> trying to get it off. Or you could be like uh, Jasper and run and try to back out of them. <laughs> This is true, our cat tries to back out of clothing until we've trained him not to. Yeah, you guys Rizwin, is gonna, Rizwin is gonna name her Tressum Lady. Okay. But yeah, uh, but I, I would have tried to get uh, Reed to message everyone to me at the Bard College when they're done. I want my winter clothes to have like a kangaroo pouch in the front. Sure. Okay, oh, so. I play for Onyx. Onyx? Yeah, keep Onyx warm. Oh. I want a hoodie that has devil horns. It's like knitted but empty, so they actually fit over your actual horns. Like, oh, that's a really nice detail. Oh yeah. Oh no, I just mean like, a, like if a normal person like had like a devil horn hoodie, it's just like that. So it just looks like I have four horns. Like how <laughs> some jackets have the cat ears on the hood. Yeah. The devil horns. Yeah. You do, uh, while you're shopping for clothes, you do find a place that has a cloak of billowing. What is that? Cloak, a cloak of what? Of what? Billowing. Oh my gosh. What is that? Badger sounds interested already in this. Uh, it's a, I think it's a common item. It is basically, 50 gold. You basically take an action to have it billow out behind you. I don't have enough money. <laughs> Wait, what, what does that mean? Like the low wind blows behind it, superhero style. <gasps> Even if oh. there is no wind. I want that so bad, but I don't have enough money for it. I can't justify that expense, sadly. Does, uh, do we? Do we just want to trade out 
a blank book for um or like two blank books for the cloaks that's like 50 gold each that's like 50 gold for two of them and yeah, we, we get 15 gold back yeah we only need uh five sets since reed's got that ring of warming i'm gonna oh. put the cloak of billowing over top yep. of my crag's cloak oh let's just trade in one book then and also, also well the, also, you, it'll be two books for the cloak if are you doing for the clothes or the cloak of billowing i was just doing for the clothes did we really want the cloak of billowing uh, I was gonna say, Rizwin will say, do you really want the Cloak of Billowing? Yes! Uh... Give her, the three will... give her the three blank books, and I will say it's even. You guys get your winter, winter clothing and the Cloak of Billowing. Oh, I was gonna say, Rizwin is gonna buy it for Badger, and she's gonna say, this is for helping me with the Tresum. Alright, so we're taking one book out of the inventory. Now, these clothes, is that, is that, that's just clothing, right? That's not like a cloak or anything? Yes, it is, it is clothing, like winter clothing. It will keep you, uh, keep you warm for traveling in the cold climates. Okay. Are we doing Can... the books for the cloak of bellowing, or am I subtracting money from me? If you want to take money out of your thing, just like as a gift, then you're more than welcome to Role playing wise, otherwise okay. we'll just take it out of the of the. Loop. Yeah, I'll do that. So you'll take it out of your stuff. Yeah. Um, I actually want to get a uh, see if there's possibly a uh like a cloak that's just like a I guess like it would be like a fur line cloak or something like that. You can include that in your winter clothing. Yeah, that's that's all I really wanted for mine too. The the hoodie was a joke. I just want like one of those big fur coats. So a cloak comes with the winter clothing as well. If it's basically that the five gold for to cover the flavor of whatever you want. I'm gonna say if mine comes with a cloak, I'll probably hold on to it and then give it to someone when we get closer to where we're going, so that they have something warm for since I saw my crag pack. I mean, to be fair, yours is kind of smaller, so. A child, I don't mind helping kids. Oh, you're gonna find some random kid on the road? Well, closer to us up north. Like if it looks like they're cold or something like that, like on the street. It's like Scanlan, where he just goes, "I wish to find a small, small boy." Small boy. <laughs> no. oh, God. Are we gonna have to buy a sled for the snow place? Snowshoes. Snowshoes. I mean, technically, it did, that one shop did have snowshoes. No, just get me some tennis rackets and some duct tape. I'll get us some snowshoes. Is there even such a thing as tennis in D&D? &D? If there's a vet uh, that can perform surgeries, I'm sure there is. Well, I mean, there's Probably magic and all that thing. stuff, so... It, it, in my what, world, there's... That's what it looks like. <laughs> in my world, there's actually a place that's called the, the Nobles Guild, and it's literally just a country club. Oh my god! It's got tennis and golf. <laughs> I don't think tennis exists. Just do what they do in Critical Role and instantly, like, invent tennis. <laughs> you tennis now. Yeah. It's like people are, they're like, what is that, like, tetanus? No. All right, you guys have purchased magic items. You guys have purchased companions. You have purchased winter clothing. You have participated and observed battle. Um, Made up some coin on the side. Battle. How much would it be to get a magical light crossbow? Uh, You'd have to find one. It'd be about the same as the short bow was. If you can find one. Can I roll to see if I... Uh, let me see. Can I roll to see if I find one? Uh, we're, we're all about to go to the Bard College Give anyway. me a, ten, a 
5% range. I'll make it easy and say 1 through 5. Okay. Unfortunately, you are unable to find one. Okay. That's, That's okay. Fine. We're going to look for an enchanter after we get done the Bard College, so we can try to maybe tackle it again afterwards. All right, you guys reconvene for the Bard College. And that's where we will end tonight's session. Got some characters to work on, I'm guessing. I had to get with you about some people you know, and also... Well, I mean, it is almost 9 o'clock, so... Ah, fair I'm enough. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of really am annoyed at you right now. What? That Oops. owl seems so interesting. I wanted to know more about it. <laughs> Watch Critical Role. <laughs> I just want to talk to him. It looks so interesting. <laughs> that owl is literally the rogue that sits in the corner that actually got someone to ask him about his backstory. <laughs> he almost did. That owl seems like if it was a human, it would just be, it would just look at you and go, meh. And then turn its head really quick. I know it looks so cute. I was like, <laughs> that was like the only animal in that shop you described to me that I was like, you know what? A pseudo dragon doesn't look as good now. This thing looks interesting to me. Badger's new goal: to befriend the grumpy owl. Would, would you <laughs> like some? Re would you like some reinforcements next time you go? I can also speak to animals. Yes, I want to know more about this owl, man. Well, Chara can actually speak to animals. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, me. I can talk to any animal, well, as long as it's a beast. Me too. Uh, with the with the gnome thing, it's kind of like talking to animals, but not quite. It's only small and tiny creatures. You can like you can. Squirrels. Technically, I can talk to Ruby. Which I already learned that uh, is uh, two of the horses are Beavis and Butthead, essentially. Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm not gonna lie, I would get a pseudo dragon just to talk with them during the entire trip. Just have intellectual conversations with them. They never run out of topics. Exactly. How amazing would that be for Badger? It'd keep you pretty occupied. I think that I think this is the I think we should use the party loot for this. I think this qualifies as benefits the entire group. Hey <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I don't think you really could buy a pseudo dragon because they're so intelligent. It'd be weird that they would be offered for selling because they're so high intelligence. It'd be like almost like slavery. So that'd be kind of weird to me to actually buy one. Ah! But no, they're helping them find a friend. There's a dragon it's not like attacking a water. <laughs> it's not like a matchmaking service. Okay, you pay me $50, I'll find you a good human like, to be with you. I I also loved how every animal in this shop, like, just immediately, like, fell in love with you, wanted to be around you, doing everything, but you wanted the three animals that didn't care about you. <laughs> so interesting. Well, I still like them. I give them all cugs and cuddles and scratches. Well, no, like, the super like... dragons were around her while they were in there. But when uh, she gave, she, one of them saw Rizwin paying coin, saw the coin, and immediately went for it. And the other one uh, went up after he got a, a shiny. It takes oh, a, a red dragon. dragon. It retreats to the rafters and then puts it in wherever its heart is. I feel like, though, what Badge is gonna do with every time she sees a pseudo dragon, out uh, of respect, just give it a small gold, like a small little. Just be like, here, for your hold. Thank you for letting me see you. Man, also, I also. Was... Side note Rizwan is buying a collar for a lady that looks like a, uh, a little red bow. I can make one out of leather. That's what I did for Onyx and uh, Ruby. I made them collars, but then I put a special. I put a gem inside both of their collars. Make... All right, everyone's dead. The red dragon killed you all. <laughs> Am I for... the only one who noticed the dragon? <laughs> no, I noticed it. I just didn't think anything of it. I got, oh, no. back I got backups. We we need to get some giants in here. Dragons and uh, well, no giants. Uh, dragons and giants are mortal enemies. Oh, also, this bonus? is what this is water deep. Yeah, they can't enter. They can't enter. Dragons yeah. cannot enter Why water deep. Enter? 
Well, maybe it was like a heroic dragon, like how a heroic. Why can't they answer? Uh, it uh, Waterdeep is warded against dragons. Uh, what, Plus what about there's... polymorph dragons? How did a pseudo <coughs> dragon? Are polymorph dragons allowed in? Sorry, I, I mean, there's probably there cases second. where some are allowed in, but mo like there, are, it's warded against attacks and stuff. Yeah, fair so enough. How did a <laughs> dragon get in then? It's a giant bear. Well, I mean, he probably uh, the proprietor probably made uh, arrangements to make sure they can come in, or the ward doesn't work against pseudo dragons. Also, even if the city, if the, anything can get past the wards to attack the city, there's a bunch of giant statues that protect the city. Yeah, there are oh, yeah. giant animated statues. Plus, uh, on top of that, I'm pretty sure we're not the only adventurer groups in this town. <laughs> oh yeah, no, there are. There's also basically Avengers of Waterdeep. I mean, this is some of the fucking yawning portal. Also, the Bard College. I'm not sure how involved they would get, but, you know. Probably not very involved. Let's be honest, DM. You're never gonna let me talk talk to animals, are you, in this game? The thing, uh, you can... I it's don't. not like talking talking to animals, the, the gnome thing. It's through uh, like squeaks and stuff, you can... Relay You're basically yeah, re relay simple stuff, like very simple ideas. You're Kronk from Emperor's New Groove. Oh, okay. yes. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Well, zero dragons, I speak draconic, and they speak draconic. Well, that's different because they're pseudo dragons. I think they only speak draconic through telepathy too. Mm. Yeah, that's why I really want one. I think it'd be kind of cool to have one and just talk with it. I wouldn't use it to spy on things. Though to use it as a scout, I was highly concerned. You, you already have an ammo you can use as a scout. They can do the te telepathy thing only if you, they allow it. I uh, understand it's common draconic, but cannot speak. Yeah, but he won't let me use it as a scout either. So. Oh, way, well, they, they can magically nice communicate simple ideas, emotions, and images telepathically with any creature within 100 feet that can understand a language. Yeah -hoo. Hey, by the way, Ezra, do you have improved, uh, improved, uh, packed weapon? I might have ducked out. Um, oh, never mind. I don't think so, no. Okay. I, I was gonna say, like, uh, when I figured out my whole bit, uh, bit with the component pouch, or when I thought uh, about getting a ruby of the war mage, I I switched out from a uh, improved pack to Anyway, thank you all so much for joining us. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Good night, everyone. I'm gonna let them continue talking. <laughs>